Today I'm going to show you how to make this simple ergonomic foot rest using only one board. Let's begin. Now to build this project, I'm just going to use a simple 2x4. Now you don't even need a full 8 foot long one. This right here is actually just some scrap left over from a previous project. And if by chance all you have is a bunch of smaller scrap pieces, you can build it with those too. I first need to cut out the base or the feet for this project. And to do that, I'm going to cut two pieces at 11 inches on a miter saw. Now that we have the base pieces cut out, we actually need to make a diagonal cut across both of them. So first, we need to measure roughly an inch and a half down and make a mark. I'm now going to make a reference mark from that one and a half inch mark all the way down to this corner here. And that'll give me roughly a 20 degree angle for this footrest. If you don't want a 20 degree angle, there's a couple ways you can adjust this real easily. If you go up one inch on the side here, that'll give you roughly a 15 degree angle. And if you go roughly halfway in the board or one and three quarters, that'll give you roughly a 10 degree angle. So choose wisely. I'm going to use a bandsaw to actually cut these angles out, but if you don't have a bandsaw, let me show you an alternate way to make these cuts. If by chance all you have is a circular saw, there is a way to make those angled cuts. It is a little more dangerous, so please be very careful. Take the board that we're going to cut on. Before we cut those 11 inch sections off, we want to first go ahead and draw those diagonal lines across the board. Then we want to clamp this down to something solid so it doesn't move. And that will allow you to have both hands on your circular saw to make the cut a little bit safer. But please be careful, the angle in which you are cutting this, there's a very good chance that your saw might try and lurch back on you. So make sure to stand to the side and not behind it. Next we're heading back over to the miter saw because we're going to cut two more pieces at 16 inches. I'm then going to rip down those 16 inch pieces on my table saw to half inch strips. If by chance you don't have a table saw, that's okay. You can go to your home improvement store and pick up some 1x2 furring strips and they should work well for you. Do keep in mind that if you're using scrap wood like I am here, there might be some screw holes in it you forgot were there. So in my case, I had to cut out a few extra pieces here, but if you're using a fresh 2x4, you probably won't have to do that. Then look at the grain structure on all of the pieces and figure out which sides look the prettiest and have the least amount of screw holes in them and make those the top so it really kind of pops when people look at it. We then want to take some sandpaper and go over all the edges to knock down that sharp edge so nobody accidentally gets cut by it. You can use something like this is just a homemade bow sander that I've made just real simply out of a 2x4 in the past. We can just go over that. But if by chance you have a palm router, that would make this a lot faster. And once you have these smaller pieces sanded down, go back and sand off the footers. There's a good chance you'll probably have some splinters sticking up on that as well. Once you have everything sanded down, pick out your two best strips. One of these needs to go on the top and one of these needs to go on the bottom because this is what your eye will see first. The ones in the middle, if they're slightly imperfected, your eye won't catch them as easily. To attach these together, we can use screws or we can use glue. Now, if you use screws, there are a couple benefits. First off, once you have everything attached, you can use it immediately. And two, if by chance these ever become broken, you can easily replace them. But if you use glue, it will look a little bit nicer. You won't have the screw head seen, and everything will just look a little bit smoother. So, that's up to you. We first want to take the feet and lay them so they're pointing straight up. And then we take the first strip and we want to place it so that there's about a half inch overhang on each side. And as we proceed to place the others in place, that way just in case the distance between the bottom down here and the top down here is a little bit different, you shouldn't be able to tell easily. If you're going to be using screws for this build, this is the time to pre-drill all of the holes. You want to make sure they're nice and uniform across the strip and from where the footer will sit as well. So make sure you measure very carefully. Now I'm going to use a drill press to make quick work of this, but you don't have to have that. If you just measure everything really carefully, you can do that just by hand. Now in the process of drilling these, I remembered I needed to do one additional step. In four of these, you do only need one screw centered. But in two of these, I actually have two screws that will be going in. And the reason why is if you just have one screw going in each of the feet, if it got kicked a little bit, it could go off center. But by having two screws and two of the strips going across, it locks it in place. Now I've put that top board back in place and I've gently clamped it with another board on the base back here just to make sure everything stays in place as we add the screws. 
And the screw of choice is a number eight at three quarter inches long. Once I've had that first strip in place, I've laid this down flat and make sure it's still nice and square. And I'm going to add this other outside piece. Next up, we're gonna take the rest of the pieces and we're going to set them in place, making sure that the ones with the two holes are going next to the outer pieces. And then we're going to eyeball these and try and get them as even as possible. And of course, screw them in place. But keep in mind, these will probably move around as you're screwing, so just adjust as necessary. And there you have it, a great little foot rest, whether it's for your desk or even for your couch. Now, keep in mind, this is not to stand on. If you were to stand on these, you could easily break these strips. But the good thing about having screws is you can replace them if that happens. And of course, you can always add some rubber feet to the bottom corners to keep it from moving around as much. And don't forget, since this is made out of wood, you can easily stain this to match your other furniture, whether it's your desk or maybe even the carpet, so it kind of blends into the area. Now, of course, you need some kind of a top coat, whether it's a polyurethane or something, to have several layers of it on it so it doesn't discolor maybe from the oils from your feet or just water from your shoes. In either case, protect this so it can last a long time. Now, if you like the simplicity of this project, I have a playlist right over here with several others that you will like as well. And of course, thank you, Miss Beans, for the idea for this video.